Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim This lecture is about rectal cancer But inevitably we will discuss the colorectal cancer I think the colorectal cancer is a one unit Especially for the undergraduate teaching There is no big difference between colon and rectal cancer for undergraduates For most graduates we may talk about the biological difference between the rectal and the colon cancer and the types of operations of for rectal cancer uh, and what's the difference in the methods of spread of rectal cancer from the colon cancer but mainly for undergraduates I think it's uh, one unit colorectal cancer is a one unit not mainly uh, two units uh, to be di uh, discussed in two uh, lectures uh, so we will inevitably di discuss the colon cancer and revise it in this lecture with the uh, rectal cancer. Uh, at first, we uh, must discuss some of the epidemiology uh, of the uh, colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer have a, a very wide distribution in the uh, Western countries, maybe due to uh, the uh, Westernized life, like uh, uh, fast foods and other causes of uh, the colorectal cancer as we will discuss it uh, inshallah uh, but colorectal cancer mainly in the uh, western countries uh, have a wide distribution it's very uh, rare in uh, the african countries and with little bit uh, in egypt uh, we have uh, a low number of the cases of colorectal cancer but colorectal cancer in the western countries the is the second most common uh, leading cause of uh, this uh, uh, between the western population after breast cancer and prostate cancer uh, in uh, western countries uh, and it's worldwide is the third most common cancer in f males and the second most common cancer in females worldwide worldwide but most commonly in the western countries uh, colorectal cancer uh, is distributed widely uh, we see in this picture the percentage of the distribution of the colorectal cancer but we must stress in this lecture on the rectum we have uh, uh, the highest percent of colorectal cancer in the rectum and the rectosigmoid junction and the sigmoid uh, so by the way the uh, sigmoid and rectosigmoid junction and the rectum is the most common sites of the cancer in the colon in general uh, even in the GIT in general the man, most common cause or most common GIT cancer is colon cancer and the sigmoid and rectum are the most common sites of the GIT cancer they represent about 50% of cases of colorectal cancer present in the sigmoid and uh, uh, the rectum and there is a little bit difference between males and the females distribution especially in UK uh, uh, but by the way the sigmoid and the rectum are the most common site of the colorectal cancer and the most common site of cancer in the GIT uh, in general uh, the rectum have a distribution by itself so uh, the upper part of the rectum 35% of cancers occur in the upper part of the rectum in this part while it's wide part, the ampulla of the rectum uh, then 30% in the middle rectum and 30% in the lower rectum the distribution in the rectum the upper one third is 35 the middle one third is 30 and the lower uh, one third is uh, is 30 and 5% in the, the whole uh, rectum uh, so uh, this is a distribution of the colorectal cancer what's the risk factors and what are the causes mainly what the causes of the cancer uh, rectum we have a modifiable risk factors and non-modifiable risk factors what's the meaning of modifiable risk factors modifiable risk factors is the factors that can the patient modify it to prevent the reasons of cancer rectum like uh, overweight and obesity one of the most common causes of cancer even 
by the way colorectal cancer so uh, pediatric operations and losing weight is a, a protective against cancer uh, alcoholism one of the common causes of cancers in general and colorectal cancer is alcoholism in smoking uh, red meat and processed meat like uh, burgers sausages uh, processed meat uh, have uh, 10% to 20% uh, 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 susceptibility of occurrence of colorectal cancer so red meat and processed meat processed meat processed meat like uh, burger sauces wh which uh, lead to 20% of cases to colorectal cancers low fruits diet and vegetables and lake and cake of fibers they uh, can take off fibers leading to increased instance of colorectal cancer the uh, patient can modify these factors can lose uh, his weight and can uh, uh, leave alcoholism and smoking and e e even uh, 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 decrease uh, consumption of red meat and the processed meat and increase the fiber in diet this modifiable risk factors can decrease the incidence of colorectal cancer uh, and so what I mean by westernized uh, life uh, westernized life, the alcoholism, smoking, processed meat, fast foods and low fruits like this is a western western style mm, and this western style has become globalized mm, uh, globalization <laughs> leading to this uh, style, this western style uh, is the normal life of a lot of nations so the instance of colorectal cancer increase by the way in the uh, next years non-modifiable risk factors which we can't control like the age every one uh, above the age of 50 years has a susceptibility to have erectile cancer or colon cancer both the family history of the father and or the brother or the sister or a mother uh, have a history of colorectal cancer this increase the risk of colorectal cancer of the uh, 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 of the uh, of the sons and uh, or, or brothers or sisters so both the family history is important to colorectal cancer and we will discuss this point because genetics have a uh, play a critical role in colorectal cancer colorectal polyps colorectal polyps is a precancerous lesion of the cancer colon the polyps change to cancer in a, a, a cascade which is known by the version model we will see it now a polyps in general most commonly adenomatous polyps lynch syndrome which uh, uh, also above the family history and lastly the inflammatory bowel diseases as we know the ulcerative colitis is a common disease in the colon and rectum especially in western countries patient with long-standing long ulcerative colitis more than 15 years or 20 years have a high incidence of colorectal cancer this is not non-modifiable risk factor the patient can't control these factors but the patient can control alcoholism smoking uh, processed meat and increased vegetable and lose his weight so this is a modifiable risk factors and non-modifiable risk factors the age of the patient polyps inflammatory bowel diseases and positive family uh, history uh, uh, colorectal cancer we must discuss the polyps so the adenomatous polyps are the precancerous lesions of the colorectal cancer uh, this is a normal mucosa of the colon normal mucosa in every population uh, a gene is called ABC gene adenomatous polyposis coli gene leading to formation of an apparent crypt focus abnormal mucosa only abnormal apparent mucosa abnormal mucosa this abnormal mucosa will enlarge and form an early adenoma bulb in the colon which is benign uh, by a gene which is called keras gene and this adenoma is enlarged forming a late adenoma and a gene coming to is called p53 gene transfer this late adenoma large adenoma into invasive cancer 
This is called Ferron and Volgestein model of adenocarcinoma sequence. Normal mucosa change it to cancer by this cascade, and we know all the genes which control this process. This genes, this genes leading to both the family history of colorectal cancer. These genes transfer adenomatous polyps to adenomatous polyps or coronary polyps to colorectal cancer. To colorectal cancer. So we must remember that the polyps is the precursors. The first, the first signs, uh, the first uh, signs of colorectal cancer. So uh, the surveillance programs, screening programs. Screening of programs for colorectal cancer in the uh, Western countries uh, started many years ago. They screen all patients above 50 years old for reasons of colonic polyps. These colonic polyps, the early lesions, are benign. So we can remove this benign polyp, preventing it to reach to colon cancer. So do screening programs. Any patient above 50 years must do chronoscopy as a screening for colorectal cancer in the western countries to prevent the invasive carcinoma this is the idea of the screening of programs for colorectal cancer so what's the, the causes of cancer rectum the risk factors we have modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors obesity alcoholism smoking excessive and processed meat low fiber diet and the precancerous lesion which is uh, the uh, main cause of cancer rectum is colorectal polyps so we see how the polyp it changes to cancer what's the macroscopic picture of colorectal cancer we have uh, many macroscopic pictures of the colorectal cancers like the cauliflower uh, mass. This is a small cauliflower mass, semi pedunculated, and this is large cauliflower mass, nearly obstructing the colon. This is nearly obstructing the colon mass, protruding from the colon. Uh, this is mass with ulcer, raised inverted edges, and urated base. Yeah, mass with ulcer. Yeah, we first cauliflower mass. This is ulcerative mass which has raised averted edges and durated base necrotic floor bleed easy on touch by colonoscopy this is another ulcer raised averted edges and durated base necrotic floors is necrosis or white color ulcers uh, this is the annular structure of the colony yeah, we have cauliflower mass mass cauliflower mass ulcer, raised diverted edges, indurated base, necrotic floor, or this is the annular structure of the rectum obstructing the lumen, annular structure obstructing the lumen, which is common at the rectosigmoid junction leading to obstruction, intestinal obstruction. What's the uh, uh, microscopic picture of the cancer colon? This is the normal appearance of the colon in histology. This is uh, the uh, columnar cells. This is columnar cells with goblet cell uh, uh, and the glandular pattern in arranged in the glandular pattern. This is the mucosa, submucosa, and musculosa. Uh, this is the submucosa. This is the mucosa, glandular pattern with goblet cells, columnar epithelium. So columnar epithelium, uh, when it changes to malignancy, leading to formation of adeno carcinoma see this adenocarcinoma adenocarcinoma microscopically adenocarcinoma microscopically malignant cells loss of the glandular architecture see this is glandular architecture this is the, the shape of the gland there is no shape of the glands mm, no goblet cells see the goblet cells here absence of the goblet cells and you can see the nuclei very good mm, see here the nucleus is enlarged nucleus this is signs of malignancy loss of glandular architecture 
hyper chromatosis increased nuclear cytoplasmic ratio this is a signs of the malignancy loss of the goblet cells another picture another picture of adenocarcinoma the nuclei appear here large nuclei absence of the goblet cells no goblet cells no goblet cells with some glandular architecture with some glandular architecture the second type of the adenocarcinoma is this collaminar adenocarcinoma and this is mucinous adenocarcinoma we can see this white color is a mucine the mucine this is a glands increase mm, loss of the architecture of the glands with balls of mucine balls mucine secreting mucine so it's called mucinous adenocarcinoma or colloid adenocarcinoma uh, and uh, another type is like a carcinoid with cell basal cell carcinoma uh, what are the types of the spread of the uh, cancer code and what's the complications of cancer col colorectal cancer colorectal cancer complications include metastasis spread to another organs maybe direct spread to the surrounding structures to the surrounding structures or extrinsic spreads what are the surrounding structures of the rectum in the males anteriorly renal bladder and the uh, prostate in females vagina and uterus posteriorly sacrum and the sacral plexus that can extend directly to them intrinsic spread to the circumference of the colon the force of the circumference can spread every six months to the force of the circumference lymphatic spread of the cancer rectum to the lymphatic drainage of the rectum the upper zone is reaching to the main pathway to the inferior mesenteric lymph nodes and lateral extension to the internal iliac lymph nodes and downward extension to the inner canal may reaching to the superficial inguinal lymph nodes lastly in to paraortic lymph nodes the lymphatic spread mainly lymphatic spread of the upper rectum to the inferior mesenteric lymph nodes middle lower rectum to the internal iliac lymph nodes and if extend to the inner canal may reach to the inguinal lymph nodes blood spread as we see in this picture the malignancy is spread to the liver this is the malignant cells in uh, the liver malignant site in the liver which is the most common site of the spread of colorectal cancer distant metastasis why due to portal circulation the GIT drain into the portal vein portal vein reach to the liver leading to metastasis in the liver which is a common site of distant metastasis of colorectal cancer colorectal cancer what are the other complications rather than spread and standard obstruction as we see in this picture the annular structure of the recto sigmoid junction and the lumen is obstructed leading to intestinal obstruction bleeding per rectum as we said in the lecture of the bleeding per rectum one of the common causes of the bleeding per rectum is cancer lower GIT bleeding is cancer cancer rectum leading to bleeding per rectum in rectal suppurations and secondary piles now what's the staging of the cancer rectum we have uh, what's called the duke's staging system of the cancer rectum a duke's staging system of the cancer rectum we have uh, four stages duke's a b c and d duke's a the gross is to the rectal wall only this present in five percent of cases with excellent prognosis about uh, 85 to 95 percent five year survival Dukes B staging Dukes B staging the cancer extend completely to the wall of the colon and rectum but there is no lymph node Dukes A confined to the superficial layers Dukes B extending to the whole layers of 
the colon and be extended to the extracolonic tissues. The treatment is surgery and five year survival rate is 60 to 80 percent. And the is spread to the lymph nodes. In this case, we must do surgery, chemo, and radiotherapy for cancer rectum. And dux DSD, distant metastasis. Distant metastasis most commonly to the liver. The most common site of metastasis in colorectal cancer is the distant metastasis of colorectal cancer is the liver due to portal circulation. But dux A, superficial layers. Dux P, all layers except the lymph nodes. C, lymph nodes. D, distant metastasis have a very bad prognosis. What are the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam What are the clinical picture of the cancer colon and rectum? Uh, patient with cancer colon and rectum may have constipation As you see the leumin decreased So the patient have a constipation And there is a spurious diarrhea Spurious diarrhea not a true diarrhea not a true diarrhea. Diarrhea due to mucus secretion, mucus secretion above the mass leading to diarrhea. So the patient have alternative constipation and diarrhea. Constipation and diarrhea. This is an alarming sign of cancer colon, colorectal cancer. Alternative uh, constipation and diarrhea. And bleeding per rectum. As we said in the lecture of the cancer, uh, of the bleeding per rectum, cancer colon and rectum one of the most common causes of bleeding per rectum so any patient who has bleeding per rectum must be investigated by endoscopy to exclude the colorectal cancer to exclude the colorectal cancer narrow stools narrow stools why because the lumen is encroached so the lumen is decreased in size leading to narrow stool unexplained anemia due to bleeding Unexplained anemia due to bleeding. Unexplained weight loss, shiksia, weakness and easy fatigability. Weakness and easy fatigability. Abdominal pain, طبعاً, in cancer colon, but the patient with cancer rectum have bleeding per rectum, which is the most common presentation of cancer rectum. Bleeding per rectum. Constipation, alternative with diarrhea. Alternative with diarrhea, which is a spurious diarrhea, not a true diarrhea, not a true diarrhea due to accumulative mucus above the mass. Pain, pain may occur in the cases of infiltration of the sacral plexus posteriorly to the rectum, or infiltration of the anal canal skin, or infections, and the symptoms of complications. How to diagnose the cancer rectum? Patient must do digital rectal examination we must do a digital rectal examination br examination to the patient putting the index finger in the anal canal we can feel the mass there is uh, if you don't put your finger in the anal canal we can't detect the, the mass we can't detect the mass. so patient which suspected to have a cancer rectum we must do digital rectal examination what are the investigations to investigate the patient with cancer rectum barium enema barium enema we inject barium through an uh, enema and take an x-ray the barium enema show what's called apple core appearance in the cases of annular structures this is apple core apple core after eating the apple this is the apple core appearance in the barium enema which is a, an alarming sign of cancer colon. It's cancer colon. This is another site of barium enema, regular filling defect with shouldering on both sides, apple core appearance, diagnosis cancer rig to sick point. This is a barium enema, apple core appearance with shouldering. This is shouldering. Diagnosis is cancer rig to Sigmoid. This is cancer transverse colon, apple core appearance. In some cases, we can take the cancer pi CT scan. This is a mess in the cecum. Cecal mess. 
mass in the cecum with intestinal obstruction. Cecal mass with intestinal obstruction. It's a transverse column mass, mostly splenic fracture mass, and uh, with metastasis to the liver by CT scan. This is called CT clonography. CT clonography is a CT scan by the aid of computer can visualize the lumen of the colon uh, and this is CT clonography showing a polyp by aiding of the computer and the clonoscopy detect the same polyp this is bit scan for detection of the metastasis of the cancer colon we have a cancer rectum we have a mass in the rectum the sprite mass lightened mass in the rectum and this mass in the rectum this is mass in the rectum and this is the metastasis to the liver and the metastasis to the vertebrae uh, bit scan using 5-fluorodeoxyglucose uh, 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 18, 18 fluorodeoxyglucose which is obtained by the malignant cells and this 18 fluorodeoxyglucose is obtained by the malignant cells and detected by the camera of the bit scan as bright appearance in the cancer rectum and metastasis to the liver, metastasis to the bone. The main investigation of colorectal cancer is clonoscopy, as we see in this pictures. Clonoscopy is the golden standard for diagnosis of colorectal cancer. Chronoscopy can see the mass as we see in this picture and can take a biopsy for histopathological examination to confirm the diagnosis of colorectal cancer. Again, the gold standard for diagnosing a case of cancer rectum is colonoscopy. Right. When to suspect a cancer rectum, bleeding per rectum. Bleeding per rectum equal colonoscopy to detect the cancer rectum. The most common presentation of cancer rectum is bleeding per rectum. Then constipation alternative with, with diarrhea. When the patient complaining of these two items, please, 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 please do colonoscopy for the patient. Even if there is a local cause in the anal canal, colonoscopy is the gold standard for diagnosis of colon and rectal cancer. It's a life saving for the patient. Patient with bleeding per rectum equal colonoscopy. Patient with bleeding per rectum equal colonoscopy for early detection of colorectal cancer. Please do colonoscopy for every patient with bleeding per rectum. Colonoscopy for every patient with bleeding per rectum for diagnosing and excluding colorectal cancer to save the patient's life. So the gold standard for diagnosing colorectal cancer is clonoscopy. In the past, we use the parium enema, apple core appearance, mm, CT cam used, bit scan for detection of the distant metastasis. What's the treatment of colorectal cancer? In general, we will stress and rectal cancer but we can take an idea about colon cancer in the right colon we do right hemicolectomy in the spleen, uh, hepatic fracture mass we do what's called extended right hemicolectomy removal of the right colon terminal ileum and the transverse colon right two thirds in the transverse colon transverse colectomy in mass in the splenic fracture we do extended left colectomy in the left colon, we do left colectomy, sigmoid, sigmoidectomy. In the rectum, in the rectum, historically, the abdominal perineal resection of Miles. Miles is, is an English surgeon uh, who first operated the abdominal perineal resection uh, uh, for cancer rectum and give a very good results for prognosis of colorectal cancer at the uh, beginning of the previous century 
was the meaning of abdominal perineal dissection. Abdominal perineal dissection, as we see here, this is a cancer in the lower rectum. So we remove the rectum, rectus sigmoid, part of the sigmoid, and the rectum and the anal canal through the abdominal part we remove the sigmoid and the rectum from the perineum we remove the inner canal and the close the inner canal and do a colostomy in the colostomy this is called abdominal renal section patient have a colostomy in his abdomen stoma for stool in his abdomen permanent for life for life abdominal perineal resection of miles Dixon is an ang uh, American surgeon. Miles is an English surgeon, while Dixon is an American surgeon. Dixon says that we can preserve the lower part of the anal canal in the cases of upper and the middle rectal cancers. So we remove the part of sigmoid and rectum and we leave part of the anal canal and the rectum and then we anastomose Ana without. Stoma without a stoma, stoma without opening of the colon in the abdomen. Anastomosis, do anastomosis between the colon and the rectum. This is the colon, uh, the colon and the anus. Coloanal anastomosis. This is called anterior resection operation. So we have for cancer rectum two main operations: abdomen brain resection, removal of the rectum and the inner canal, and the close the opening of the anal canal then do an end colostomy stoma opening of the colon in the abdominal walls called the stoma colostomy colostomy the patient defecates through this colostomy for life this is abdominal brainier resection of miles anterior resection of dexon dexon is an american surgeon dexon says that we can remove the sigmoid rectum and leave a part of the anal canal and the rectum and we do anastomosis do a junction between the colon and the anus colo anal anastomosis to avoid the stoma in the abdomen and patient can defecate normal because the stoma has a psychological troubles to the patient this is called anterior resection of miles any patient with cancer rectum uh, must take idiotherapy to avoid the occurrence of the cancer rectum especially before the operation before the operation patient must take radiotherapy every patient with rectal cancer the gold standard golden rule every patient with rectal cancer must take radiotherapy before the operation to avoid recurrence this is called new adjuvant therapy new adjuvant therapy every patient with cancer rectum must take radiotherapy before the operation to avoid recurrence then we can do the operation if there is an infinite metastasis patient must take chemotherapy so patient of cancer rectum take chemo radiotherapy plus surgery plus surgery patient of colon cancer take chemotherapy only plus surgery for inoperable cases inoperable cases or obstructed cases Obstructed cases, patients, we can do resuscitation of the patient and urgent operation, we can do a heart procedure like in the cases of diverticulitis. Hartman procedure like in the cases of diverticulitis, removal of the affected part and do Hartman procedure for the uh, patients in, in the cases of obstruction. Thank you.